Hello my gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Peroline. In today's video, if you've never subscribed to my channel, make sure that you turn on your notification so that you don't miss out on my next video. So the more you subscribe, the more you turn on your notification, the more you get to see my my channel, to see the video that I keep on uploading because here on my channel I up upload video like every day you know so if you see me that maybe i have not uploaded in a day it means that maybe i have been busy or my day it wasn't okay so in today's video i am going to talk about the american young lady <clears throat> her house has been set on fire you know she's called she's the ex-girlfriend of r Carey, you know so israel clay if i'm pronounced i don't know if i'm pronouncing her name correctly if i'm incorrect my bad you know because you have to understand that some other people they've got names that it's not easy to pronounce them you know so correct me if i'm wrong if i'm not pronouncing her name correctly so it's the the young lady you know she found out that her her car was set on fire and then even her house you know it was set on fire but like enough you know they had to call the fire people you know to come and remove the what the the fire you know so for me i feel is i feel as if you know this young lady you know she's at a target and i feel as if you know for people who cares for her so much you know they have to be with this girl you know most of the time because this girl she's on target you know as you know the things that has been happening you know i don't think that maybe she, because some people believe as if this this young girl she's doing cloud chasing you know i don't know for what reason you know because nowadays you'll find that even even if sometimes you have got your opinion you'll find that sometimes when you come here on what on social media trying to express yourself some people just conclude it saying that she's doing cloud chasing it's not it's not most of the people who are after this thing like cloud chasing some people they come on social media to teach you some lesson to show you the things that are happening in their lives you know so it's the same thing that like this young girl you know some people think that maybe she just want to make she wants to become famous by doing cloud chasing i don't believe and i don't think that she can put her house her car set her house on fire or set her car on fire and then after that she calls the police and call the what the fire those what is what are they called fire extinguisher those ones who switches off the the fire you know i don't think that a normal person would do that you know but i just know that nowadays we live in the world whereby there are a lot of people who are critical you know very judgmental you know they will never understand other people's situation because they have never been in that in such kind of a situation for me you know i think that this this young girl you know she needs her parents she needs her her mother and her father his her sibling you know to surround her you know to protect her because right now this young girl i don't think that this young girl you know i know that she has done a very bad mistake you know because you have to understand that in this world all of us as human beings we, we do some mistake including me that i'm speaking right now nobody is perfect in this world you know so for me i think that people should remove that mentality of of thinking that this girl you know israel you know she, she's trying to make a, a living through cloud chasing you know i don't think that she can put her life at risk or bend down the what her apartment because you have to understand that if she is living in a apartment if she has set the what the fire on what on her on her apartment what about those people that she was living with you know because you you have to understand that when you are living in a part in a, in an apartment you know you are you are not just looking at your only safety you are also you have to consider that also she's got neighbors what about those people who are like her neighbor do you think that she was just going to put them at risk you know so for me i definitely think that sometimes as human being you know even if we judge others you know we have to that's something that we have to put in cons into consideration you know because for me definitely speaking i don't believe that this girl she's doing cloud chasing you know because I don't think that she can just put other people at risk you know i don't think that maybe she can just put herself at risk you know so guys it's very important that sometimes you know when somebody is going through a very difficult time you know we are the one who are supposed to be there for this young girl you know to make sure that her well-being is you know is being taken care you know even her her family her family member you may never know if she's mentally what disturbed you know because you 
maybe she needs to what to, to be taken like to therapy so that somebody should try to advise her you never know what she's going through you know because sometimes when because I know I, I have seen some people you know making some videos saying that even the picture that she was she took near her her car the way she was posing it's it seems as if she was just staging you know so how do you expect her you know to take a picture were you expecting her you know to to put in what uh, to to wear clothes and look like an, an a grandmother and come and pose there on what on her car you know sometimes you know she's a young girl you know you have to understand that even you when you were young you used to do some mistake you know already that as young people you know not everybody can be fully mature at 22 years you know i know some men you know who are married you know you find that the men are that they treat their wife you find that it's not what they're not yet fully mature so it's the same thing like this young girl you know some people they cannot become fully mature i know some other in most cases you know they say that we ladies we become fully mature at the age of 18 years of course it's i think it's it's different from each and and from each and each individual you know because even the way we think you know it's different from each and if from each and every individual you know so for some of you you know who are just thinking that she, she just staged that she, she just staged that to burn her house to to set her her car on fire i don't think that maybe she could have done such kind of a thing you know i just think that this girl she's going she's I think maybe she's mentally disturbed or I think she's also going through maybe a trauma. You, you may never know, you know. I think she just really needs somebody to sit down with her, you know, and to talk to her. She needs help, according to me, just by looking, you know. So, guys, let us avoid trying to what? To, to criticize this girl, you know, because this girl, you know, she's trying to live her life as well. You know, she's a human being just like everybody, you know. So, guys, see you guys in my next video and I hope that you're going to take care of yourself. Bye bye my lovely people. Don't forget to turn on your notification and subscribe and to leave some comments below because the more you subscribe and the more you comment and the more you, you turn on your notification, that allows you, you know, to see my uploads that I upload every day. So don't forget to turn on your notification, my lovely people, my queens. So bye bye my lovely people.